Greetings all, my name is Rosie Motene and welcome to my latest vlog. For those of you who follow my work, I always speak to my three passions in life and that is women, Africa and the arts. This vlog I'd like to dedicate to the hashtag Black Lives Matter. And of course this is rising up from the brutal attack and murder of George Floyd, which happened in the United States, but also to highlight the truth and the reality that black bodies have been policed, brutally murdered and assaulted by people who are supposed to have been protecting us. At the start of our lockdown in South Africa, a number of names surfaced of, of, of brutality and murders that happened um, by the South African National Defense Force. Adani Emanuel, who apparently was accused of selling cigarettes, detained, beaten, and then dropped off at a clinic by the police, and unfortunately, he passed away. Collins Causa, who was severely assaulted by the South African National Defense Force and the Johannesburg Metropolitan De police, police Department. Sibusiso Amos, who was fatally shot while sitting on his veranda in his home. These are just a few. These are just the names that have reached the surface. We look abroad and we saw the violent attacks on, on Nigeria and other African nations in China. The violent attacks that have been happening by the, on the Aboriginal people in Australia, Italy. And so this is incredibly important that we understand the impact and the meaning of the Black Lives Matter hashtag. Yes, I know we're going to get the naysayers saying, well, all lives matter. Of course, all lives matter. But the reality and the truth is that some lives are more privileged than others. Some lives or some bodies are not policed or racially profiled purely because of who they are. This hashtag also includes the importance of lives within the queer and the LGBTQI community. And so we're calling on a global march for the hashtag Black Lives Matter, which will take place on the 5th of June, 2020, this Friday, as most of us are in lockdown. We cannot be going to the streets and, and creating those marches, but we can still be using our voices and our agency. So whether it is changing your profile picture on your social media post, recording a vlog like this, writing a blog, doing something within your environment that you can do. And we're particularly aiming it at those people who speak and live from a place of privilege. It's all very well to say, well, I'm not a racist, I have many black friends, but what are you doing? How are you using your privilege? to stand up against racism, because that is what this fight is about. Advertising agencies, broadcasters, production houses, we're asking you to add your voice, use your clout, use your privilege, use your status and agency, because we're tired, we're sore, we're frustrated. Remember, black lives do matter. There will be a few uh, physical events that, that will be taking place in Johannesburg and Cape Town. And if you follow, follow this, the, these threads, um, those, those will be announced. And if you are creating a space within your own environment, please include us so that we can also share it. But as Africans, too many of our families, too many of our bodies are dying unnecessarily, are being killed or, brut or brutally murdered. The verbal and brutal abuse that is happening, of course, affects our mental illness. So physically, our bodies might be alive, but mentally, emotionally, and psychologically, we're either dead or we're dying. So the next time you see the hashtag, Black Lives Matter, don't roll your eyes. Or think, well, this doesn't affect me. It does affect you. What are you doing in your environment? 
What conversations are you having with your children? What conversations are you having amongst each other? What are you doing? If you witness racism, are you turning a blind eye or are you using your agency to make a change? Because now we are holding everybody accountable. So join us this Friday, the 5th of June, wherever you are, whatever country, whatever territory, whoever you, whoever you represent, let's stand in solidarity. Black Lives Matter.